Hello everybody, and welcome back to a brand new video on High Pixel Skyblock. So, you all know that the Hyperion is definitely one of the most important swords for any player to obtain. It is insane for right click and left click damage, and has seen uses across every aspect of Skyblock imaginable. So with all this in mind, most players set it as their complete goal in Skyblock to obtain one of these, the Hyperion. However, today I'm going to show you guys something that actually is pretty comparable to the Hyperion for an absolute fraction of a price. Now do keep in mind this video is more of a joke than genuine advice, but if you do want to use this weapon, keep in mind it'll actually still be viable. Today, we're going to be talking about the best budget Hyperion, the aspect of the end, and most importantly, the aspect of the dragons. So when was the last time that you used an aspect of the dragons? If you used to play Skyblock a few months ago, then you might remember that this sword was the absolute meta weapon. However, now it is a very forgotten sword in midst of weapons like the Livid Dagger and Flower of Truth and barely any players even get this weapon anymore. And with this old weapon that has an important place in Skyblock history comes an even more unknown ability. The AOTD actually does have an ability, but it's never really seen any use because, well, it just seems kind of useless. It's just a little bit of an ability, but it does less damage than a lot of other weapons and it has pretty much no area of effect. Well, today I'm going to be showing you guys why the Aspect of the Dragons is actually a very good left-click mage weapon and right-click mage weapon, and how you can use this in floors 5 and 6 to serve as a substitute Hyperion. So, let's get started. Alright, so first and foremost, let's compare the AOTD to the Hyperion. Which is not a very fair comparison, but let's do it anyway. So first of all, my Hyperion is Smite 7, it's recombobulated, it's full fuming, it's, it's maxed out. And this AOTD is not even recombobulated. It has one fuming potato book and just a bunch of random tier 6 enchants. I just got it for a good price on the auction house, so I decided to just take it. So first, let's compare the base damages. So as you can see, the AOTD has 733,000 and the Hyperion has around 2 million. So right off the bat, Hyperion, well, <laughs> it's a little bit more damage than the aspect of the dragons. But now let's look at mana cost. So both weapons are ultimate wise 5, and I'm going to be using my Ender Dragon pet, which is the best pet for right click mage. And the Hyperion, as you can see, costs 150 mana. But then the AOTD costs 50 mana. So as you can see in reality, the effective mana usage to damage output is actually completely identical with these two weapons, which is crazy to think about. This basically means that if you use Hyperion one time, using the same amount of mana with the AOTD, you'll do the same damage, which is really, really surprising. However, the main thing about the Hyperion is the fact that it does damage and that you teleport along with it, which is why I have to also include the aspect of the end. As you can see, this costs 25 mana and this costs 50 mana. But still, as you can see, you can go like this and you can basically use it like a Hyperion. But is this even viable? Well, let's check it out. Let's enter the floor six dungeon. That's right, a pretty high dungeon floor, if I'm being honest, and let's do it. So go on in here, let's first use Hyperion. And it's not really surprising, it just instantly kills everything in its path. But now let's use this super scuffed Hyperion. As you can see, it is clearing surprisingly quickly. Let's use it against the mini boss real quick. Uh oh. And as you can see, it also took that mini boss down really fast. <laughs> like, what is this? How much damage is it doing? It's doing like 500,000 damage to all of these mobs, which is crazy to think about. But the AOTD has a little bit more going for it than just simply the right click mage damage. And this is because 
although the Hyperion teleport ability is, without a doubt, really good. Well, it also makes it so that you cannot use right click and left click at the same time with the Hyperion. So you need to use weapons like a giant sword and an edible mace, and specifically use those for left click mage. But with the AOTD, the story's a bit different. Watch this. So, look what I'm doing right here. With the AOTD combination, I'm able to right click and left click at the same time, just like this. And let's see it against a frozen adventure. And as you can see, that thing just melted with the aspect of the dragons. Like, this is an AOTD. This is a 3 million coin sword compared to a 500 million coin sword. And it is surprisingly competent. So let's see the uh, let's see the right the left flick mage damage comparison. So first AOTD, it's gonna be 15 million damage, pretty good. And then let's try my Hyperion. As you can see, it's gonna be about 25 mil. Or let's try to fells 25. Yeah. So as you can see, it's about a uh, well, it's it's a, it's a pretty big left flick mage damage difference. But again, you're considering that you can right click and left click at the same time, which is actually surprisingly good. So let's just continue going here and seeing how good this is. So it's another mini boss room. Or no, it's not a mini boss room, but it's fine. As you can see, I'm I'm really surprised by how good this is. Like, it's not viable in, in later floors because the mobs have too much HP. But for now, we're chilling, man. We're chilling. I mean it's not doing much damage compared to Hyperion, but at the same time. It's, it's not half bad. Let's try it against the Lost Adventure, and <laughs> as you can see, it, it, it kind of just disappears with uh, the AOTD. Like, like how, why is this this good? Why is it so... it, it shouldn't be this good. <laughs> like, like what? Uh, let's just try again. Yeah, it, it kind of just makes mobs disappear, and it just knocks them back a lot too, which the Hyperion doesn't do. Look at that. Oh my goodness, it just sends them flying all the way across the room. Which, which seems surprisingly useful. Like, like, what is this? And it only costs 50 mana. I'm never gonna run out of mana with the AOTD ability. And then Hyperion, I, I, I am gonna run out of mana. If I spam it, I'm gonna immediately lose a decent chunk of my mana usage. So let's continue using it. As you can see, if you have a high amount of speed, like if you have, like, what is this? Like 400 speed, right? It can actually be, in theory, a little bit faster than the Hyperion for clearing, because you're going so fast anyway. <laughs> like, what is this? This is actually really good. Of course, it, and you, against spells and stuff, you can just left-click and right-click at the same time, and you're all good. Alright, everyone, so now it's time to do a yellow room. So let's just go in here, and let's see how fast we can kill it with just the AOTD and, and Ice Spray. But Ice Spray doesn't really do that much damage, so let's just avoid these uh, attacks real quick. There we go. And like that. And... Yeah, it, it, it doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> I'd like to say that that might actually be the same speed as Hyperion. Because with Hyperion, if you try to do that, you'll just go forward like this. It won't work, right? So the only way you're going to kill mini boss is if you actually look at the ground and go like this. But with this sword, you can do it both at the same time. Which is actually really, really good. Of course, it's really awkward to use. It won't really make up a substitute for it. But I'd say that all this damage it does is really good. Like, it does more base damage than a Spirit Scepter, I think. Like, what is this, like 700, 890 kgs, dude, that's a lot of base damage. Again, it's doing, like, so much with Left Click Mage. And by the way, this is heroic, not even Withered. It'll probably do a lot more Left Click Mage damage if it's Withered. So as you can see from that footage, the AOTD is actually a surprisingly competent weapon in the lower floors. Now, obviously, in the higher floors, it becomes completely useless, but at the same time, I think that this could actually very well outperform other weapons like a Midas Staff or even a Spirit Scepter because of the fact that you can do this. You can left and right click with it at the same time. The mana usage is literally non-existent, only 50 mana, like that's so low. And honestly, I think that if you're a new mage, you might want to actually consider the aspect of the dragons. So now let's compare it to some other weapons. So let's get Midas Staff in here. So let's see. Um, the Midas Staff. So, as you can see, here is a 2 mil Midas Staff 
very basic minus step of 43 million coins. And as you can see, the base damage is 71k, and on this is 96k. But this has a one second cooldown, and you can and the right click, the left click damage is really bad with this weapon. On the other hand, with this, the right the left click mage damage is actually really high. So definitely better than a basic Midas staff. So now let's compare it to a hundred mil Midas. So here is a Midas staff. As you can see, it's recombobulated, just a decent Midas staff. Base damage at 460k, but on this, it's going to be at only 71k, so it's going to be a lot less. But at the same time, this is a one second cooldown, and this has no cooldown whatsoever. Like, I can, I can click it 15 CPS, it'll do it 15 times. So I'd say that this weapon is actually comparable to a 100 mil Midas staff, uh, which, is, which is crazy. Because you can probably do more DPS with this. The right click mage damage will obviously be less. But at the same time, the area of effect and the clearing power of this is also much higher than the Midas Staff. And now finally, let's see the Spirit Scepter. It's a really common mage weapon. So, let's check this out. So here is a pretty decent Spirit Scepter. Here we go. And as you can see, <laughs> it's definitely better than a Spirit Scepter. As you can see, it's going to be 20,000, which is terrible, and 125 mana cost. That's ridiculous. And this is going to be 71k. So, as you can see, it's way better than a Spirit Scepter. It's comparable to a 100 mil Midas Staff. And it costs 3 million coins. And this is not even maxed out. It can be a lot better than this. So, yeah everyone. This is the best budget option for the Hyperion. And definitely, I'd say, one of the most underrated mage weapons in the game. Of course, the meme doesn't really work. You can't really effectively use it like this. But at the same time, I think that this could pass off of a Hyperion definitely in the other floors. So that was the video, everyone. Tell me if you learned something new and if you tried out this AOTD. It's actually a really fun sword to use as well. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!